Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to the first Monday of October. Let's have a Bitcoin TA because currently Bitcoin is pushing again towards $11,000 and it looks very bullish at the moment. So the beginning of this month of October was very good so far. Let's see if it's going to be sustainable or not. So before we start, very much appreciated if you can hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel. I do daily TA videos and of course you're also very welcome to watch it every day and tune in also in my Twitch live streams and join also the Discord trading chat. All the links are down below here in the video description. And now let's start here in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin is pushing again here to the upside. Also so far we don't have any kind of bearish divergence or anything like that. RSI is coming very close into overbought condition. So there could be a possible chance that we're getting rejected here in this $11,000 or at least see a pullback. But so far everything is good to go to the upside. And also if you have a look here into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the upside which of course is very bullish. We have KSD, Stochastic, MACD all shifted to the upside. So as long as they are looking so bullish I'm expecting here continuation to the upside. And if we switch over into the DXY you can see that the DXY is also pushing higher. Currently we have a little pullback to the 20 moving average but overall here the DXY is also looking a bit bullish even though we are trading here below the 200 moving average right now here in the DXY. So maybe here we could expect here some continuation to the downside. But of course if the DXY is starting here to push higher again towards the 200 moving average at 94 or go higher then most likely we're going to see a pullback in the Bitcoin price. So the thing is that the DXY here in the one hour is starting to look again more bullish. We are coming from oversold condition and right now testing the 50 level in the RSI. So I think if the DXY continue here to push higher, we're going to see this pullback in the Bitcoin price also because we are currently a little bit overbought. And now let's have a look what the four hour time frame is uh, telling us here in the Bitcoin price because currently you are seeing that the 20 moving average is going above the 200. And this is of course a very bullish sign and we should expect your continuation to the upside and also support here right at the 20 moving average at 10,700. 70. So if you think we will go higher and not top out here at $11,000 then maybe wait for the price to retrace and retest 10,770 to open a long position for example over here on Bybit. So we have the RSI also shifted to the upside above the 50 level. This is what we want to see during an uptrend. And although if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are testing here the top at 10,920. Currently we got rejected. So if we see a pullback down to the middle level and test and confirm this 10,770, then I think we should be good to go to the upside and also break this $11,000 in the next couple of days for sure. Because if we have a confirmation that now 10,770, the midline of the Bollinger Band is our new support, then we should be heading towards 11 and 12K again. Only if we're getting rejected here and we drop below 10,770, then I'm expecting continuation to the downside, at least towards $10,500. Because here we have the MACD and KSD, which are still looking quite bullish. We could have here a bullish cross if we're able to close a couple of four hour candles here in this region up here. But in case that we're coming back down and lose also 10,770 and also maybe have here a bearish cross, then this could lead into a major sell-off at least towards $10,500. Stochastic is also coming up here towards overbought condition. So the lower time frames are looking like that we're getting a bit exhausted here. But if we are able to push through 11,000 and also create a support above 11,000, then we should be good to go towards 12K and potentially even break it and go higher. Because we still have this resistance up here at around $11,200. And only if we're really able to break this resistance up here and also create a support. So if you're starting to consolidate here in the one hour and four hour time frame above $11,200, I think we're good to go to the upside. But so far we are not even up here to test this $11,200 level. So it is good that we are now gearing up here for a possible test of this area. But so far we didn't have any kind of bigger breakout or anything like that.
and if we switch over into the DXY here also you can see that currently we are getting rejected by the 20 moving average in the 4 hour so only if here we are gonna have a 4 hour close above $94 so above the 20 moving average I think we could be in here for a possible retest of the main resistance and maybe break out to the upside but also here in the DXY so far we didn't have any kind of breakout it's more kind of sideways moving and also the RSI now is below the 50 level so in theory we could see here some continuation to the downside potentially to retest this 93.20 where also the 200 moving average in the 4 hour is lining up perfectly here at our support so there is still a high chance that Bitcoin could have another leg to the upside and there get rejected and at the same time the DXY have another leg to the downside retest this area and bounce again from it because here in the 4 hour you can see that also in my own indicator we are getting into very oversold condition so I think if we have another leg down here towards 93.20 in the next couple of hours this could lead into a complete oversold condition and also we could potentially get a buy signal here in the DXY and of course this would signal that in the Bitcoin price we most likely gonna have a sell signal or at least top out here for the low time frames and if we switch over into the daily you can see that here currently we are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average but we so far didn't test here the 50 daily moving average at $11,000 so we're gonna have to see if today we are able to test and close also above $11,000 that would be of course very bullish because in that case we will start again to trade here above the 20 and 50 daily moving average and if we are getting rejected today here in the next couple of days then I think we most likely gonna stay here between the 20 and 50 daily moving average chopping around here up and down before we're gonna see a clear breakout to the upside or downside the RSI now is trading above the 50 which is bullish so we should see continuation to the upside but I still think here at $11,000 we will face the most of this resistance that is in front of us and although if you go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently the top is right here at 11,140 so that's why if we see a follow through here to the upside and get rejected here at $11,100 I think this pump will not be sustainable but if we're able to push through higher here then we should be in here for a major run to the upside because after we topped out at $12,500 and we cooled off successfully here at this 10k area we have all the indicators which are now cooled off and we could see here a lot of continuation to the upside we also have MACD and KSD shifted to the upside stochastic as well also still not completely in overbought condition so we have some room left here to reach this $11,100 and there we're gonna have to see what will happen so if you want to trade this range here between the 20 and 50 daily moving average even with small amounts of course you can do this over on Bybit or Femex for example so you can trade here with leverage also small amounts if you want to do some extra gains and now let's have a look also into the DXY here we are still trading above the 20 daily moving average which of course is also bullish for the DXY even though we had this correction down here we are testing currently this moving average and if here we're gonna have a bounce to the upside and also break this 9460 I suppose that then we will go up here to test this 200 daily moving average and this could potentially lead into a major crash in the Bitcoin price and the stock market only if the DXY is losing here the 20 daily moving average and potentially continue to drop here lower than 93.20 towards here the support of 91.20 then I think we will see a big rise in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock market and we will remain in this falling wedge for a couple of more days and weeks here in the DXY so we have here a chance to break out to the upside but at the moment we are testing a critical point here the 20 daily moving average so let's see what the DXY is also doing during this days we are in a very critical point in the Bitcoin price and also in the DXY it's very unclear in my opinion right now where we are going to next where we're gonna see a big move but for sure one or the other first maybe the stock market or the DXY will do a first move and there we're gonna see where also Bitcoin will head in the next couple of weeks and if we go over to the Bitcoin price and open up the weekly time frame here of course we are still maintaining our bullish momentum to the 
upside we had here a cool off to the 20 weekly moving average and now in theory we should see a big bounce to the upside the 20 weekly is still here at 10,230 so as long as we're closing weekly candles above these levels we're good to go to the upside although RSI size above the 50 level and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band we are still trading between these two moving averages so between 10,200 and 11,117 stochastic now is oversold so that's why we could see a possible push through here this resistance of 11,200 maybe even go up here to test 12,250 that is still in the cards but we still have to wait here for weekly closes and we still have some couple of days to go here before we're gonna see these weeks close and also MACD and KST are flat now we really have to wait till Sunday and see where this candle is gonna close to see if here we have any kind of breakout from these two moving averages and uh, we can also have a look now into the monthly time frame in the Bitcoin price because last month of course was red and right now we have a nice starting of this month I still expect some volatility here also to the downside in my opinion the good thing here in the monthly is that we are still far away from the 20 monthly moving average and since we are still in this region up here at around 10k you can see that the 20 moving average in the monthly came up here to $9,000 so exactly at $9,000 and this is also perfectly lining up with our new support so this red trend line that you see right here came from 20k and 14k and right now it should be acting as a new support if we are coming down to test these levels. So if this month we're going to have a major crash then watch out for this price target here right at $9,000 because it is very close to the 200 daily moving average it's coinciding with the 20 monthly moving average and also it's perfectly lining up with our previous resistance trend line which now is the new support so i think this is might be really the last opportunity to buy really cheap bitcoin or any kind of altcoins that you want if the price is coming down to this level so be prepared to buy everything you want once we're gonna reach this area and don't go and panic sell because although right now we are seeing a lot of altcoins especially the ones from the DeFi space pumping again like crazy only when bitcoin moves a little bit to the upside so i think as soon as bitcoin here is starting another big parabolic run to the upside we're gonna see also here in the altcoin space a very nice performance so definitely take it as an opportunity if the price is coming down to these levels here to buy as much as you can and write this thing up once it's starting to moon and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching don't forget that you find down below here in the video description a lot of useful links and exchanges where I also trade and also if you're new in the crypto space you can easily register to coinbase or swissport for example these two I recommend you if you are new in the crypto space and you want to buy some Bitcoin because with my sign up links you can get also some free money that you can immediately use to invest in whatever coin you want so thank you very much my friends for all your support and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye